Okay, good morning. Welcome to Matthew Math number 174. Matthew Math 174. This is the problem you picked out um, for the movie today. It's just from uh, your, your geometry book. Um, and it says find x in terms of y in this triangle. Oh, you know what? I forgot to draw in the parallel lines. So that's parallel to that. That's parallel to that. Okay. And um, I actually looked up the answer in the book, and it's a little, the answer itself is a little bit messy, so I don't know if we're going to be able to get all the way to the end of the answer. Um, mm. But we'll see what, see how we would try to approach a problem like this. Well, this chapter is about similar triangles, so I'm going to find some triangles that are similar. Okay. So now this angle and this angle are the same like that. Okay. Because they're parallel lines. All right. And these two triangles share that angle. All right, good. So in a triangle BAE, is similar to triangle DCE. DCE. Now let's make sure we said that right. BAE, DCE. Okay, good. Yeah. And hmm, the ratios aren't really that useful right now. You can say that 4 to x is 5 to this distance. Okay. But that's not very helpful unless we know that distance, which we know. Well, I got news for you. Sometimes you don't know all the distances. <laughs> so, yeah. so why don't you call that distance z? I'll call this distance z? Yeah, ac. Alright. So <clears throat> you can see 4 to x equals 5 to 5 plus z. Alright, so that's saying that distance to that distance is the same as that distance to that distance. So you can use this to solve for z in terms of x. In terms of x. Okay, so what's that going to say? So 20 plus z is 5x. Alright. No, 20 plus 4z. Okay, there you go. So, 4z, 5x minus 20. Alright. So z is 5 fourths x minus 5. Yeah, that's fine. I would, I would write it as 5x minus 20 over 4. four. Just, okay. just, that's a little easier to keep track of. I mean, that's probably more just preference than anything else, but 5x minus 20 over 4. So now you know what this is. So you can write that in. Okay. Remember, I said this was going to get a little messy. This was G. Alright. So, we have more similar angles. We know that that angle is the same as that angle because you have these parallel lines in a straight line. Uh-huh. Let's see. Hmm. Well, we know that this angle here, I'm not sure if this is going to help us, but this angle here is this angle plus this angle. That's true. You didn't know that. That's not really that helpful. Yeah. Hmm. Are there any other pairs of similar triangles that we can see here? Yeah, that's a good question to ask. Hmm. Well, we still need to know more angles, aside from this one. Hmm. Well, what triangles are there? We have this big triangle, this is H. This and this, which we have found that they're similar. This one and this one. Hmm. 
But we need to get x and y in the same equation. Yep. So the tricky thing is just finding the right, the right similar triangles. There's no other triangles that I see look to be similar. Like this one has an obtuse angle. Okay, and we're just going to go to the next movie.